Hey guys, welcome back. So I've had a few phone calls from our customers about water being in the fuel system. And this usually happens after an oil change just because when you get the oil change, they should be draining out the fuel module, which is here. So I'm gonna show you some tips what you can do if this happens, because it will shut down the truck. A little light on the dash will indicate that you have fuel in the water, which we'll show you. And it's a few steps, it's a little tedious, but it will save you a lot of money so you don't have to call a tow truck or call out a mechanic. And you guys would just need yourself and maybe a water bottle, like a Gatorade bottle or a good sized water bottle to catch some of the debris. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the bottom of the fuel module and you're gonna see a black square peg and you're gonna spin it until fluid comes out. And it sh there should be a hose connected to it. Once you take that hose and put it into a water bottle or a bucket, turn it until you start seeing green fluid. Once you get green fluid coming through, nice and clean, close it off, and then you're gonna start priming the system, which is right here. We have a plunger. You're gonna unscrew it, then you're gonna go up and down until it's nice and stiff. Once it's stiff, you screw it back down, start the truck. You may have to do this a few times. Once the truck starts up on its own, the light on the dash should go away and you should be good to go. And just remember, anytime you get a service, ask them if they uh, drained the fuel module. This just will stop from further issues later down the road. You know, stopping, checking the light comes on, causing headache. All right guys, I hope that this uh, tutorial was helpful for draining water out of the fuel module. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. See you guys next time.